What started out as a joke is now a disturbing reality for Joe Biden, America's 81-year-old president who wants another four years as leader of the free world. Every once in a while, I make a mistake, President Biden said in May 2022. Like, well, once a speech. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? Federal prosecutors investigating whether he mishandled classified documents made their observations clear. Mr. Biden is a sympathetic, well-meaning, elderly man with a poor memory, special counsel Robert Hur wrote in a 388-page report. And that was the kind part. Biden's memory also appeared to have significant limitations, according to the report. And during conversations with his ghostwriter, recorded in 2017, his conversations were painfully slow, with Mr. Biden struggling to remember events and straining at times to read and relay his own notebook entries. The spotlight was already on Joe Biden. The blunders have been coming thick and fast. Just this week, a conversation with Emmanuel Macron of France became a conversation with Francois Mitterrand of Germany, who died in 1996. And Mitterrand from Germany, I mean from France, looked at me and said... A conversation with Angela Merkel at the G7 in 2021 became a conversation with Helmut Kohl, the former German Chancellor, who died in 2017. Even last night, he confused Egypt with Mexico. Initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. I talked to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. The worst gaffe that people remember is when he sought out Indiana Representative Jackie Walorski at a White House conference, shouting, Representative Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I think she was going to be here. Jackie, are you here? Where's Jackie? I didn't think she was, she was going to be here to help make this a reality. She died in a car crash eight weeks earlier, and Biden had released a lengthy statement mourning her. Elsewhere, the war in Ukraine has been mislabeled as the war in Iraq, and even the New Zealand All Blacks have become the British military force known as the Black and Tans. <laughs> was a hell of a rugby player, and they beat the hell of the Black and Tans. Oh, God, oh, God. <laughs> This matters. Last night, I spoke with someone in Trump's orbit who, although frustrated at the Department of Justice not pursuing Biden's documents case with more vigor, accepted that the wording of the report could well do more damage to Biden in the long term. So do the Democrats have a plan B? In short, they don't. And that's a huge problem for them. If Donald Trump were to drop off the Republican ballot, the Republicans would likely coalesce around Ron DeSantis or Nikki Haley. The Democrats, though, they would first likely look at Kamala Harris the most unpopular vice president in history. And then possibly at Gavin Newsom, the governor of California, whose state is being blighted by drugs and crime and whose residents are leaving in their droves. Another more familiar name has entered the conversation, not Hillary Clinton, who was beaten by Trump already in 2016, but another female occupant of the White House, Michelle Obama. But there are also real practical issues filing has closed in more than half of all Democratic races. It's simply too late to add another name to the ballot. The party would have to go to court to try and change filing deadlines for some primaries, or some cooperative state legislatures could reschedule those deadlines, or even entire primaries. One can only imagine the Republican claims of election rigging. Even if they could do that, by mid-March, both parties will have allocated a majority of their delegates. As a result, even though there would still be several primaries to go, any new entrant or an existing candidate who hadn't won a significant number of delegates at that point couldn't possibly win a majority. And no one would go to the convention in August as a presumptive nominee. The decision would then be delayed until the end of that month, when the party officially chooses its candidate. There would be chaos, confusion, donors would be wary, and Trump, if his own legal difficulties have not caught up with him by then, would likely walk into the White House. If the Democrats are to move, the time is now and the clock is ticking. Biden insists he's going nowhere. If his own party doesn't make him step down, the country may well do it instead. <laughs>